Hello and welcome to another video with me, TJ. In today's video, I am going to be doing one of my all time favorite skin tightening treatments, which is the fractional radio frequency microneedling treatment. This is one of my favorite things to do in the treatment room, but it's also something I like to do to myself every now and then just to give my skin a little bit of a boost and a refresh. It is no secret that I am a massive fan of radio frequency, and I'm also a cheerleader for microneedling. So what could be better than bringing the two treatments together in one beauty of a device? In today's video, I am going to be doing a targeted full face treatment to really tighten, tone and lift my skin and boost that collagen production and work a little bit more on my jowl area. Now it's been a hot minute since I last recorded and uploaded a video. Over the last three months, I've had so much going on. We've moved home, I've taken on extra hours at work and I'm just dealing with life like everyone else. But I'm back and I'm going to be recording much more regularly now that I have a dedicated studio room. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at this radio frequency microneedling machine that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to do some skin prep and I'm going to get on with the treatment and I'll talk you through it as I go. So to the machine. Now, as radio frequency is a heat based treatment, it's really important to use the right kind of cleansing before you do a treatment. And this means using something that is alcohol free. There's two reasons why you want to go alcohol free with this. First of all, alcohol is highly flammable. And while most of it is going to have evaporated from the skin before you do a treatment, it's always better to be safe rather than sorry. And secondly, when heat based treatments come into contact with alcohol on the skin, it can actually increase the likelihood of experiencing melasma. So when you're cleansing your skin, use something like betadine or chlorhexidine or something low alcohol if you can't go no alcohol. For me, I am wiping down my skin with chlorhexidine. I find that it's a lot more forgiving on sensitive skin types like mine. So I'm just gonna give myself a bit of a wipe down. I did wash my face just before getting onto the camera. Now it can be pretty intense as treatment. It's got a bit of bite to it and you definitely feel it a lot more than you do with the handheld devices or my old trusty radio frequency machine. But what you're actually doing with this is that you're targeting aging skin in two different ways. Now I'm gonna be using insulated needles today and I'm gonna be doing pretty much a full face treatment. The only area that I'm not gonna be treating really is on my cheek area. So anywhere along the cheekbone and just above there. I'm in my 40s, I need to hang on to as much of my facial fat in those areas as I possibly can without damaging it and destroying it. If you're worried about whether radio frequency causes facial fat loss, feel free to check out one of my older videos which I'm going to add in the description box down below, which really digs deeper into it all, giving you a little bit more information. You don't really need to wear gloves when you're doing this, your hands aren't coming into contact with the skin, the heat seals everything and cauterizes it all. But I'm a little bit OCD and when it comes to doing these kind of treatments, whether I'm doing it in the treatment room or whether I'm doing it here myself in my own private room at home. I like things to be as clean as possible. The deepest that I tend to go is around about one to 1.5 millimeters. In the forehead, I go even shallower than that because there's not much meat up here and you're kind of just coming straight onto bone there and going deeper doesn't really give any additional benefits. When it comes to conductive gels, there is only one that I will use. It is the creme de la creme. It is the best conductive gel out there that you could possibly get your hands on. And it is this one right here, the Medicube HR Booster Gel which is absolutely jam-packed with skin-boosting goodies, soothing ingredients, and research-based formulations. After a treatment, it doesn't have to be washed off. It soaks into the skin beautifully like a serum. So yeah, that's what I am using for this treatment. Okay, so I've got the clean and sterile 36 needle tip here, which I'm just gonna unpack now. Super important that you use a brand new one of these every time. 
Now when it comes to the jowls, there are two things that contribute to these. You have the platysmal bands, which are the muscles that run down your neck. As you get older, the upper facial muscles lose their strength and these ones are able to pull down, which causes the jowling. But also you have a lot of structure and tightness. Obviously, the heavier something is, the more likely it is to want to hang out on the floor, which is exactly what these want to be doing. But I'm going to work on the jawline first. So I've got my fresh needle tip on the radio frequency micro needle wand. I've got the suction set up. I'm using the auto mode, which means that when it comes into contact with the skin, the suction pulls the needles into the skin at the correct depth, which I find is exactly what I'm looking for when it comes to getting that contraction and collagen stimulation going on. So the way that I do this is that I like to stamp and move on, stamp and move on, stamp and move on, and I will repeat over the same area twice. So I'm going straight in at the angle of the jaw first. Wow. Okay, so I've done one line already across here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the second one now. Now I don't need to do the centre of my chin. I have no issues whatsoever with laxity or tone or anything there. My chin is fine. So we're going to switch over to the other side now and follow the jawline across. Okay, so there's a little bit of redness going on here, completely normal. You've got to remember that this is heating the skin up to around about 50 degrees Celsius. But it's insane because as it's being done, like literally I can feel my skin tightening as I talk. So we're going to move it up an inch now and then we're going to work along towards the corner of the mouth. Okay, it's a little bit more sensitive around the corner of the mouth. Now, obviously you can use numbing for this. I don't really bother with numbing because I like to be able to feel what I'm doing. Because to me, pain is your body's way of letting you know when something is not quite right. So I need to be able to listen and respond to my body and make sure that I'm not over-treating any areas or causing damage anyway. But by all means, if you like numbing, then ask for numbing or do numbing, depending on whether you're doing this in clinic or yourself. Now if you're wondering why I keep looking off to the side, I have a mirror set up right here so that I can see exactly where I'm placing this. Obviously I can do it by the warmth in my skin, I can feel where I've already done, but it's always really good to have visuals. So while you're watching me, I'm watching me. I'm just going to do under the jawline now. And we're going. Okay, so now that that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my nasolabial section and I'm going to run along underneath the cheekbone and downwards.
Okay, so that is this side done. So I'm just going to whiz through on this side now. We're going to go super speed in three, two, one. Now I am going to give my upper cheek area a quick going over, but it's going to be half the power, half the depth and half the time. So for this, I am going to be doing 60 watts on the cheek. For the depth, I am going 0.5 millimeters. Speed is 0.2 and suction is on two. Okay, so the last part of my face that I will be doing is my forehead. I don't tend to do around the eyes with this. The radio frequency is too powerful and I just really don't want to be damaging anything that's around the delicate eye area. Occasionally I'll do just underneath the brow area, just to kind of tighten there and give a little bit more lift. But just to calm everything down, I'm just going to apply a bit more of my HR Booster Gel. This is really soothing. Now I always find the forehead just to be that little bit more painful and sensitive than the rest of the face. It really is just to do with that there's so many nerve endings up here, but also there's just not much tissue up here, so yeah. But it's gonna start. And across. Also getting the angle right, there's a pain in the arse. I'm just going to do it a little bit under the brow area right here. Okay, so my face is done now. These are my main target areas. There's no need to do too much on the cheeks. I've done a full face treatment, which means it's going to be tightening up and regenerating across the full face. I'm just going to apply some more of my booster gel just to keep things nice and calm. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a going over on the neck area. As with all of the treatments and as with every video where I do something on my neck, I'm going to be avoiding the centre line of my neck so I'm not going to be going over my larynx, I'm not going to be going over my thyroid area. Gonna throw some of the booster gel on there. So right now, at this very moment in time, my skin feels like I've got a bit of mild sunburn going on. But this usually dissipates within sort of like four to six hours. Sometimes it can take up to 24 hours. But as a general rule, within six hours, it tends to be kind of feeling pretty much back to normal. But it's really important to remember that actually this treatment, the inflammation plays a really big role in the actual tightening and regeneration process. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to jump back into this. At 21 days, we'll take a look at the before and after, which is going to be right now. So here we are, we are now at 21 days post radio frequency and microneedling treatment. Now I'm not 100% sure how much the difference can be seen on the video. Looking in the mirror, I notice a huge difference, but not just in my jowl area, in my whole face. Everything feels so much firmer to the touch. My skin feels really supple and it is looking so much better than it was before. So let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison, which hopefully will give you a better idea of what things are looking like. Now obviously we're only 21 days after the treatment. The best results typically start coming in at around about three months onwards. That is when the collagen production is really starting to kick up a gear. It's when you'll start noticing that your skin is starting to fill out more, your pores are looking smaller, the skin is looking plumper and more youthful. But at 21 days, it gives you a really good indication of what to expect. And what I'm seeing at the moment makes me really happy as I know that the results I'm gonna be getting over the coming months are gonna be exceptional. Now obviously the skin tightening and toning and collagen production from this device is in a whole league of its own. But that's because this is a professional device and not one of my usual handheld home devices. With this machine, I will give myself a maximum of three treatments a year, that's all I need. Now there really is no need to use any other radio frequency devices in between after using a treatment like this, other than for maintenance reasons. But for me, I'm gonna be using my handheld devices as usual. I'll be using my HiFu device from Medicube, 
and giving myself the occasional maintenance upkeep treatment with one of my smaller devices just in between the main treatments that I will be doing with my professional device. Now if you want to get your hands on one of these microneedling radio frequency machines, you can get a huge $500 off the price by using the code TJ500 throughout November and December 2022. Information and links are in the description box down below. If you've got any questions about this treatment, about this device, or about any of the other treatments that I do, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't done so already and you've made it this far through the video, first of all, thank you. But why not hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're first to know whenever I upload a new video. Have an amazing day ahead of you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you for joining me today. And until next time, TJ over and out.